My name is Efia Wangaza. I am the national co-chair of the uh, Political Prisoners uh, State Repression Working Group of the United States Human Rights Network. The U.S. Human Rights Network is a uh, national coalition of more than 200 uh, organizations ranging from the traditional human rights organizations like Amnesty International, various academic and professional associations, to volunteer grassroots community-based human rights organizations like my own, which is the Malcolm X Center for Self-Determination. I am I'm a, a, a former colleague of Imam Jamil Alamin. Uh, we both work together in SNCC, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Um, I am a survivor of the COINTELPRO era, and it is a great honor, thank you, to participate in today's events. I am especially uh, honored to bring greetings and express the solidarity of the U.S. Human Rights Network with the effort that you make and the organization and coalition that you are building. I want to join uh, the call that was made initially um, regarding COINTEL uh, survivors, people who've been in interned in concentration camps across this country for more than 40 years, former Black Panther Party members, Black Liberation Army members. We have, as a part of our work, a campaign called Free Our Mandelas. It's important that we understand, um, really understand the uh, saying, he or she who um, defines the terms is the master. And that includes the concepts of innocence and guilt, as well as the concepts of terrorism and patriot. It's important that we have our own definitions and we have our own uh, um, heroes and sheroes uh, who embody uh, those principles. As an aside, Imam, I did not vote for Barack Obama. I voted for <laughs> Cynthia McKinney. <laughs> We have, we have in, uh, endless examples of white power imperialism in blackface. All, it's all over Africa. It's all over the United States in various forms under various banners. We cannot allow ourselves to be deceived by chameleon Trojan horses who <laughs> present themselves uh, in the interests of the people. More to the point, I expand the uh, call for, that I believe it was Wai, the Committee uh, in Defense of uh, the Bill of, Bill of Rights Defense Committee. Um, and I would say in uh, challenging you to, to recognize that the U.S. Constitution, contrary to the representation, is not a human rights document. It is a commercial document. If you will read Howard Zinn's uh, A People's History of the United States, he has a whole chapter on how the, U the uh, U.S. Constitution came to be. And its ratification only occurred when the, uh, the um, Bill of Rights was attached. So if you take away the Bill of Rights, which was required by we the people, and the so-called post-Civil uh, War uh, amendments, then you have what is really the guiding principle of the United States, which overrides those two bookends and uh, form the foundation for their interpretation. I just want to recall your attention and invite you to join uh, with us, U.S. Human Rights Network, in our international campaign to hold the United States accountable. Malcolm X challenged us to not only raise the uh, civil rights 
movement in the United States to a human rights struggle, but also to bring the United States government before the United Nations, and at that time it had some significance, but even more before the world. The U.S. Human Rights Network has worked diligently to promote a broad-based coalition network for the purposes of advancing human rights in the United States by building a people-centered movement, calling on the United States in international uh, uh, forums to live up to the propaganda, the PR that it presents to the rest of the world. And in doing that, we, did, we were most recently able to challenge the United States in what is called the Universal Periodic Review Process, which is a, a peer, country to country review process, out of which more than 225 criticisms or recommendations, as they are called, were made against the United States coming from both friend and foe. They cover all of the issues that have been raised here today from uh, the lack of access to uh, adequate food, clothing, and shelter, to the CMUs, to the uh, preemptive prosecutions, to solitary confinement as torture. We are currently in the process of doing what is called shadow reporting, and that is, is that as civil society, evaluating the United States' compliance with what is called CERD, the Convention for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. We need you to join with the committee to defend Bill of Rights Defense Committee. Bill of Rights Defense Committee. And the National Coalition to Protect Civil Freedoms. And to join with us at the U.S. Human Rights Network, making available to us that information so that our evaluation is even more accurate than we can possibly be just by ourselves. We look to grassroots efforts for the kind of authenticity that generated that 228 criticisms of the United States of America. We also challenge you to join with us in the effort that we will be uh, a series of activities, what are called side events, that will be held in New York September uh, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st around Durban 10, where the United States has decided that under the Obama administration that it will follow the Bush and Clinton and prior administration's refusal to join into a dialogue to talk about white supremacy in the United States, indeed in the world. We also invite you to join us in the documentation of the United States' violation of its treaty obligation with regard to what is called CAT. That's the Convention Against Torture. The United States cannot be allowed to simply say we do not torture and that be the last word. We must stand up for people like the Angola Three, who have spent 30 and 40 years in isolation in Angola prison. Michelle McGee in California. We must support the hunger strikers in Lucasville, as well as the hunger strikers at uh, Pelican Bay and in Georgia. We have a lot of work to do. And if each one of us, as Gandhi said, would just do the little thing that we think is least significant, then together we can turn this elephant around. Thank you. Thank you.